All right, guys, we're here with Leroy, the machine walker, a killer bicep, straight, straight, curl, crazy, strong dude. We're about to put him through the Monster Michael Todd BFR arm workout. Now, normally when I do this, I have the guys do the maintenance workout, but we are peaking for a big match against Devin Larry. So I am up to, oh gosh, this is 151 pounds on the, uh, the Monster Curl Bar. Normally this is performed with 90 pounds when I have guests come in and do this. So I'm gonna run through this circuit first, and then you get to see big little Roy do it. Sometimes the world doesn't need another hero. Sometimes what it needs is a monster. That's easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh yeah? Yeah. Uh, Especially as banged up as your arms are? I honestly was yeah. not expecting to do very well. You're whining and complaining about this being the tweaked. Most, this is the most beat up I've been. I would have to say, with the exception of immediately after a big match, in several years. Because I've never done this much pulling, you know. With so many different arms as well, yeah. So I'm doing five sets of 30 biceps, but three sets of 50 triceps, primarily because my range of motion and my wrist, one of the things I do normally is tricep dips, and I just can't set up real well with it. So I'm still getting 150 reps, just instead of splitting them up between five sets, I'm just splitting them up between three. Looking good. No. So right. after this, Leroy is gonna go through it. Yeah, so we're You gonna be a hot man, honey? We'll be a hype man. You gonna keep him going? So this is the Bob Brown addition to the art arm. We're at 160 this week. Plus, I don't know what this band is. 75 him out. I want to start it. I need you to pay good attention to your elbow placement on that pad. I thought I was very good on that. I mean, I, I was looking at it. <laughs> you weren't looking at it, but you were. It was it. good. I it was it. yeah, very close. With my elbow. So Leroy, the reason I add these in isn't for the crazy cardio or whatever. It's because it's blowing your hands and forearms up. Once you put these VFR cups on, the pump is ridiculous. <clears throat> reason I'm going straight into another tricep is because it was already set up for tricep. <laughs> <laughs> All about getting down as quick as possible. Weren't you supposed to wear a Leroy's uh, VFRs? No, I need to use them. I can't. I have to make sure that. I'm... You got to keep everything the same. Yeah. So it's, it's a mind it's his, or the superstition. Ones he's using right now are going to be the just the strap bands versus the cuffs. I got to make sure I'm keeping the same pressure on mine. Any other time, I'd be happy to try it. I get real superstitious when I get close to the match. He has to do everything the same. We get like how you were talking about, be sure you eat the same thing. Yeah. Or don't eat something that you can't get on the day of. He's the same way. Does everything the same. Next week, this goes up to 75 pounds. 75? I've never done 75 in my circuit. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> and that's a much slicker on 170 on these this week.
God, you're looking massive. <sighs> Good deal. And I'm light as shit, too. <laughs> How much did you weigh this morning? Strip, 261.8. I'm just, I'm very blessed that I'm able to get through this week of circuits because there are 30 or 20 pound jumps on everything since last week, you know? And being a lot more beat up this week than I was last week, I'm proud to be able to get through these. Just go through it. So Michael has, um, as you know, he's got Leroy the machine here today. Uh, we just got back from Washington doing the timber fallers and we had last night in the Monster Factory, Corey West, Josh Wood, and Paul Lynn. I haven't seen Michael arm wrestle as much as he's arm wrestled in What's the last on? two months. 37, honey. The last two months he's arm wrestled more than I think he's arm wrestled our entire relationship. That's not true. It's been a lot. But it has been more than probably done. <laughs> it has been so much that... In any six to 12 month period. Yeah, there is literally so many tweaked parts of him right now talking about different pains every day. But... The idea is he's just brutalizing his body now so that when he breaks it down, the recovery, he will come back stronger. Um, the plan is for him to take off from arm wrestling, any at all. Well, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna arm before. wrestle next week with Derek Smith, Corey, whoever's here. And then I may get on the table for a few matches with Corey once a week up till two weeks out. And that's just to see. But that won't be anything like you are doing now. No, God. So this craziness will stop Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. This craziness yeah. will stop Tuesday and he will be focused on. And just be on making sure I hit all my numbers in my circuits. For Michael to prove to himself that he's prepared, everything has to be in order. His nutrition will be on point. His rest will be on point. His cardio training will be on point. And then two weeks out, <clears throat> the heavy lifting will stop. He'll just do blood flow that last week. And then we'll travel to Dubai on the 20th. And then it'll be just pretty much kicking it, getting adjusted to the time there until it's competition day on the 28th. So last night, he banged a lot, guys, on the table. I was really proud, though, of our guest, Leroy. He was, he did not shy away no, from the table like, hey, at all. No, he's like, hey, I'll pull, I'll pull, let me up there. He, he would see somebody sitting, rubbing their arms, and he's like, let me bang up on that arm some more for you. <laughs> he was having a good time. Were you having a good time? It was a great time. Awesome, awesome. So, um, we're always stupidly it's excited. All different disciplines of strength. Yes, we're always so Cause... excited to have um, power lifters, other strength athletes, well, the same camaraderie that the arm wrestlers share, yeah. that all the strength guys share as well. You see it in World Strongman, you see it in powerlifting, you see it in all that stuff. Well, We're it's... all just guys, girls, whatever, who are just going to prove to be the best that we can be in whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. discipline we choose, you know. And everybody likes to support one another. Do your work, baby. You told me to talk so, so yeah. you can work. But um, anyways, Michael actually has it mapped out in a whiteboard above our bed the numbers he has to hit each week. And we got a problem. I don't know if you saw the video yesterday, yeah. but he snapped the cable where he needs to hit his 300 PR. So we've got to get that replaced and it has to be something that will hold up so that he can get that done. I've got to get that. Uh, I got to hit that 300 pounds. I mean, a 287 for a good clean three reps was a uh, was a significant PR for me. I mean, seven and a half pounds more with an extra rep. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. So you guys, um, if you've been with our channel for a while and watched Michael through these preps, you know that he does these cable pulls on the art arm. Which, by the way, that link is in the description on his link tree. But that looks good. That looks good. That looks real good. Looks good. 
So, but uh, Bob Brown had him add the band for a different pressure because- No, I can get that finishing. Once I crack Devin's hand, you know, him trying to king his move and stop me, that finish straight to the back. Yeah, so you guys have heard Michael talk about 2300. Oh, there you go. You've heard Michael talk about not planning to have to use the king's move. That does not mean he won't. He will do whatever it takes to make the win, but his goal is to finish the matches fast. Okay, so you're going to see a lot more offense with Michael on this match. Super excited about that. Want to see how that works out. But yes, he does have his normal tools that he can fall back on should it not go as planned. But he's going to be ready. Oh, God. So I'm, I'm working right now, guys. I'm putting out a video that you're going to have to see. It's okay, baby. I like it. I like seeing you work. If you guys don't know, this is the Monster Wrist Curl. Which we have contacted Harm Assessment Strength Shop for a partnership. He will be sending me a prototype that we will then be releasing to you guys. We had some issues with the initial fabrication, so a little delay. A little bit of delay, but then you guys will be able to get it. So right now there are two in existence. Michael has one, Larry Wheels has the other in the pie. Time for bands again? Yeah. I skipped one, didn't Round I? Round four bands, man. Round four bands. Round four of the bands. So after this is over, I will show you guys Michael's elbow because you will think it looks like his elbow's coming off. His elbow's actually on. What you're seeing is the inside extra bone growth that is actually hitting the table. He's got a massive elbow, and when we say he's got a massive elbow, we really mean he's got a massive elbow. What time we got? Oh, three? Three, yeah. He does the ropes at the end of his rounds because his hands, wrists, and forearm are already blown up. Well, guys, what's gonna happen in a match, especially a match that doesn't necessarily end in one, two, three seconds? Mm. You're gonna be working with a hand, wrist, and forearms that are blown up, so why not do your training that way so that when you do get in that match, you're not freaked out by it. I'm changing the order just so I can finish those two. Okay. Right it's pretty common that Michael calls an audible on his workouts. <laughs> He gets all the work in, but sometimes he does change the order. Looking good, huh? Looking real I mean, good. Considering that I'm having a small bout with diverticulitis right now. He is. And I was not feeling this workout. I'm You're actually, doing great. I'm pretty pleased with how well this is. Oh, I'm shocked at how well you're doing with, like I said, just the wear and tear that's been on your elbows. Biceps, triceps, all the rest. Looking good. Did you show that also to the arm assassins? Yeah. Also, in case you didn't hear that, it is coming soon, and that is an awesome tool. Did he like the improvements you made on it? Yeah, monster top curl. Monster top curl, guys. Or monster riser. I don't know, I think it's gonna be monster top curl. I know monster riser would be fun. Damn, stretch me bad. Come on, this is the last round. Do your work. Come on, babe. Looking good. Looking good. All right, what's the number? Uh, 24, five. Last round of battle ropes. <sighs> 
super proud of you, honey. I know it's not easy. God, that forearm pump, though. Let's see where the guns are at. <laughs> see where the guns. Oh, you gonna measure? Might as well, right? Gotta measure them, huh? Little Roy said he's never measured his arms. He got big old arms. Yeah, he does. He got a big old chest. Where we got? Oh, right there. 21. 21. All right. Now let's see that elbow on that pad. I want to show him what I'm talking about. You just want to see on the pad. Okay. That's the point. That is the point. This is all bone growth. So you guys will see this on the table. The point is on the pad. And actually. Always in contact. Always in contact. Give me a break real quick before we start with Leroy. <laughs> I got to breathe. <laughs> 